first class gallery should not only represent the artists of the past and the artists of the present, but also the artists who are going to be the future stars. And this is a very important function for a gallery. The moment to choose when to introduce these artists is the moment when they have already shown enough so we can make a strong value judgment about their talent. But they are still full of potential. There are still many discoveries to be made. So the collectors are going to find themselves right there at the edge of that moment. We believe that Miguel Jalabert is right there at that moment at age 35. It's a very good time to start collecting his works. The main challenge for a young artist is to create his own voice, a voice that is different from any other voice. And to discover that, Jalabert did it in the right way. He painted in a very unique way. I was pure, he said. I didn't have any influences during the first years. I started with no preconceived ideas. Look at this painting. It's called Land Escape. We are right at the edge of the dividing line between abstraction and figuration. And behind the intense rhythm of the surface lines, there is a mysterious world, suggesting to some a figure, to others trees, to others a mystical essence. The whole work is animated by a pulsating life which makes the painting's musical quality almost palpable. And all of Jalabert's paintings seem to be animated by this strong musical rhythm. There's a powerful connection to nature, to the cosmos, there's also a very contemporary look, a suggestion of electronic circuits, pulsating data bytes. Look at this painting, Landscape V20. What influences do you detect here? Mondrian, Barnett Newman, Rothko, Motherwell, Malevich, Miro, Reinhardt, Scully, they're all there. Jalabert received an excellent classical education at the University of Barcelona and he has come back to the old masters. And of course, he's being mentored by the leading artist from the School of Barcelona, Eduardo Arans Bravo. His practice has been described as a nearly religious studio practice, like a monk. Intense concentration on his work. Remember, it starts with no preconceived ideas. So the painting tells him exactly what to do. Now, all great works of art have a degree of ambiguity, a degree of mystery, a degree of poetry, all qualities which are very present in Jalabert's work. Look at this painting, Escape Land. What do you see on the surface? What do you see below the surface? The sea? The movement of the waves? The sunset? The sound of the sea, sound waves echoing through the canvas. An abstract play of moving lines, rhythmically creating life. Or is it a mountain range? There are very evocative images in that painting. Maybe also Jacob's ladders to heaven. And there are very few artists today who know how to paint on canvas the way Jalabert does. You can see the skill that he has in applying paint with a brush. The brushwork is extremely varied, very rich. He has also an excellent mastery of the principles of design. Look at this painting, ZG. Look at the sophistication of the composition. Subtlety in the asymmetrical balance. A very good understanding of proportion. Look at that yellow void at the bottom against the top part of the painting. There's a remarkable contrast of textures. Now you look at landscape, V. 20.0. The Foundation Arns Bravo has become in Spain the beacon, the in place for new talent. Miguel Jalabert was the first artist chosen to inaugurate the new artist space at the Eduardo Arns Bravo Foundation. Its director, a brilliant art scholar, Albert Mercade, said of Jalabert, is perhaps the top young artist in Barcelona today. This is something that is very meaningful because uh, this is where all the great artists of Spain have converged. We know that this is a great artist who has a tremendous potential 
And here it is for all of you, these beautiful paintings by one of the great promising artists of Spain, Miguel Jalabea. Enjoy. Thank you.